Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Full Stack Java projects, we are seeing this project one. And the project one is Book Management System. And this project is developed using the technologies like JSP, Bootstrap, Hibernate, and MySQL. And uh, in the last videos, we have seen about the uh, project elaboration, like we are going to add the project, that is, we are going to accept the book details from user like book ID, name and price, and these details we want to insert into the table. And we should able to pull out the records from table and display in the tabular format on our browser screen. That is a task. And in the last video, we have seen a book web project. We have created this book web project using Maven tool. And once we create the project in pom.xml file, we have added the project dependencies. That is one is Hibernate 6 dependency and one more mysql connector as we are using mysql 8 we are connecting to this version 8 version and we are going with hibernate 6 version in this project and this is the setup what we have done in the last video today let us move to the next part in this video that is we are going to create one entity class a project class the book class whatever the book details we are accepting from user like book id book name and price these details we want to insert into a project class entity class book and this book class object we want to persist into the table that's the main object of this application we will be making use of hibernate in order to take this book object and insert into the book table because hibernate is an orm framework and using this orm framework we can play with objects we can take an object of a project class or entity class and we can persist into the database table. Now, for that, to create the entity class under this SRC main Java, let us create a folder. Or let us go with a package com.book.entity. In this package com.book.entity, let us create a new class here and let me go with the name of the class as book. Now go with the properties in this book class, private int book id, private string book name, private in book price. Now let us apply the annotations, the JPA annotations, Hibernate annotations, that is at the rate entity. Mark this book class as the entity class and to mark this book ID as the primary key at the rate ID. And generate the setters and getter methods, right click and say source. And you can see the option generate getters and setters, select all and say generate so the entity class is ready here now import the packages for this annotation at the rate entity and at the rate id so this at the rate entity annotation is used to map with the table in your database book table and this id it's mainly for the primary key id annotation is mainly for the primary key so we are expecting you are having a background of hibernate already and the jsp background hibernate background bootstrap background mysql background is the prerequisite to understand this project once we create this entity class now we need to the next step we need to create one configuration file and whenever we are using annotations in this hibernate we need not make use of hibernate xml configuration file we need not create hibernate xml configuration file directly we can add this mapping class in the hibernate configuration xml file so the next important step over here is we need to create hibernate xml configuration file so for that you can right click on this src main java and say new other here in xml select xml file and let us go with the name 
hibernate dot cft dot xml cft means configuration so we are creating configuration xml file click on finish button come to the source tab now here we have to follow the templates so here we are going to make use of this template hibernate xml configuration template i'll be sharing these files to you in the description you can find the drive link where you can download all these files the project everything complete source codes will be shared to you okay so in the description you can find the drive link please download this source code using the drive link the root tag of hibernate configuration xml file is hibernate hyphen configuration in this we go with a sub element session factory in this session factory we are to go with the database connection properties we have to provide the database connection properties like property name equal to hibernate dot connection dot driver class what is a driver class in order to connect to mysql that is com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver the next property property name equal to hibernate dot connection dot url what is the url jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost colon 3306 slash and we have to provide the database name so for this case we are using the database project one db so in the last video we have created a database under mysql use project db project db one project one db and we have created the table show tables see we have created one table book under this database project one db so this database name we are going to use over here project one db now the next one next property property name equal to hibernate dot connection dot username what is the username in order to connect to my skill in my case it is root and password is also root here property name hibernate dot connection dot password in my case the password is root so with these four properties we get the connection to my skill database and the next property what we are to provide over here is property name equal to hibernate dot connection dot hibernate dot oh, sorry org dot hibernate dot dialect the property name is hibernate dot dialect so what is this dialect here as we are connecting to mysql we are going to make use of the dialect org dot hibernate dot dialect dot mysql dialect so the meaning of dialect is like sql command syntax so here we make use of the methods in Hibernate we use the methods like parse start save merge method or update method remove method delete method like that so internally these methods need to be get converted into respect to database sql command syntax so which database syntax it has to follow that we provide by using dialect and as we are going to connect to mysql we are using your mysql dialect the next property property name equal to hibernate dot connection dot auto commit we are making it as false in the code we will take care of doing the transactions next property name hibernate dot show sql true so what is the need of this show sql once we run the application if you want to see how sql commands are getting executed internally we make use of this property show sql as true and one more property very important one property name equal to hibernate dot hbm to ddl dot auto as update so here we can even provide the value create so when we make use of the value create what is going to happen it's going to drop the existing tables and it's going to recreate the tables always thinks of new table 
here we, if when we use update it thinks of existing table first it thinks of existing table so if the table is already existing then it is going to make use of this existing table over here and if the table is not existing this update also will create the table for us but when only if the table is not existing but when we go with create it always goes with new table it's going to drop the existing table and creates always new table since the table is already present we are going with update if it is not present this update also will create the table for us and finally we are referred to the mapping class what is the name of the class here com dot book dot entity entity dot book what is the name of the Pojo class we have created here book present in this package com dot book dot entity so we are referring to the mapping class over here so this completes our configuration xml file right so let me stop up to here in the next class in the next video we are going to see how to create this hibernate utility class mainly use it to load this session factory properties so we are going to create a method get session factory under this hibernate utility utility class which is going to give this session factory object to us and even we will be creating the do class where we are going to do the operations like saving the object into the table and even we are going to get the list of records from the book table that we will be discussing in the next video please subscribe like and share thank you